What feline nickname links cricketer Phil Tufnell and goalkeeper Peter Bonetti? A, the cat, B, the tiger, C, the leopard. You've put the cat. Happy with that? I think so. It rings the bell. Mm. Correct answer is... The cat is absolutely right. Step close to the hind. Chaser has put... That was right, also with the cat. Here's your question. Which of these songs reached the highest position in the UK charts? A. Chasing pavements. B. Chasing cars. C. Chasing rainbows. Ooh. Uh, did you know this or are you pressing him? Bit of both, really, Bradley. You've put... Chase. Who's that by? Adele. Oh, was it? Yeah, Adele. Right, good. Tell you what, then. We've got seriously got half a chance. Adele, she's had some massive hits, hasn't I know, she? that's what I thought. Yeah. Correct answer is... Oh, what a great answer that was, Mo. Well played. I wouldn't have got that. Uh, step close to home. Well done. Chaser has put... Oh, magnificent! Game opens up. Brilliant. I knew it wasn't uh, Chasing Cars by Snow Patrol because I never got to number one. Right. And Chasing Pavements was from Adele's album 19, but I zigged when I should have zagged. Right, there you are. Hey, great answer, Mo. Well played. Yeah. Here's your next question. What material is produced in a tannery? A, silk. B, leather. C, cotton. You, you've put <laughs> leather. Happy with that? Yeah. All right, correct answer is? Exactly right. Well played. Step close to home. Chaser has put? Goes right, Jess. Here's the next question. Which American first lady wrote a daily newspaper column called My Day? A, Jackie Kennedy, B, Eleanor Roosevelt, or C, Betty Ford? You're playing well, Mo. You're playing really well. Another pressure press. You don't know this. It was this. a pressure press. Yeah. I don't know this. All right. You've put Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt, I think, did do some writing. I'm right. not absolutely sure. OK. Correct answer is... Step close to home. Well played. Chaser has put. Very good. Very good player. Yeah, good logic and gut instinct there, yes. Eleanor mm -hmm. Roosevelt had quite a um, reputation in her own right, and yeah. I thought that was back in the day where they would write a daily newspaper column. Indeed. All right, here we go. One more and we're home. Could have gone for big money. Here's your question. How is Liesl Memminger described in the title of a novel? A, the book thief. B, the reader. C, the storyteller. You've put the reader. Yeah. Absolutely no idea, Bradley. No idea. I can only think of Liesl in The Sound of Music. I think yeah, there's a Liesl in The Sound, and that's all I could think of. No. Well, to go through with six grand, correct answer is... It's the book thief. You're staying where you are. Chaser has put. He should get this. Oh, hello. And what makes Ooh. it worse is about a quarter of a second after I pressed the answer, I could hear Paul Sinner telling me, Liesl Memminger, the book thief. Yeah. Oh. I know. Face palm moment. Well, here you go. Maureen, here's the next question. The adjective sororal refers to what relative? A, son, B, sister, C, spouse. You've put... Sister. Yeah. Never heard I don't of this. Think a sibling. Just... I've never heard of this. No, I've never heard of it. Um, Sororal. No, not heard of it before. Spouse. Could have been spouse. Don't know. All right. To go through with six grand. Let's have a look. Correct answer is. Please, oh my goodness. Sororal. That's a new one on me. Never ever heard of that word. It's the female equivalent of fraternal. Ah. So you know in America they're fraternities. Yes, indeed. The male fraternal. students. Sororities are for the female 
Never yeah. heard of that. Brilliant. Latin. Thank, thank Goes you. a long way. Well played. Well played. And let me be cruel there. You'd have had at least three shots at £40,000 if you'd have gone for it, but how are we to know? We don't know that, do you? We don't. The you know them all, you don't. Mo's no. team will be proud. <laughs> Mo's losing a final chase. Well <laughs> done, my love. And six grand. Congratulations.